Oh yeah, we will read the book in one hour. But there are no miracles. It's not possible to take a 400 pages book, read it with comprehension, and you try to remember it for life. We do something different. We read it in an hour so that we know more or less what's inside. And if we need to know more detail, we will be perfectly set for the future to read more selected fragments in a very rational way, in such a way that if the book is really worth retaining for a longer time, the stage will be set for the future. For this, we use incremental reading. We will do the first read in one hour, and the book will get splintered into many pieces, which will be later processed in the future. Using this method, you can read a thousand books, and you can say that, yeah, I read a thousand books, and you can do it in a thousand days, just spending an hour a day, and a general reasonable recollection of it, what's in those books. For this job, you need a special kind of book. First of all, it cannot be information dense. It cannot be a book on biochemistry or uh, quantum mechanics. It must be a book which is an easy read. It must be a bit of fluff, like anecdotes and explanations. It must be well structured so that when you read the beginning of the chapter, you have a general idea of what's in the chapter. You can decide how deep you go into that chapter and what kind of detail you go into that chapter. And you need to love the book. If you don't love the book, this one hour will be hard because you need a one hour of good focus to really read all the necessary details, make good decisions so that you provide a good ground for the future reading if the need arises. So I chose the book uh, Alexander Neal Summerhill. That's a classic of unschooling. It was published in 1960. It's available in Internet Archive. And because of our use incremental reading, I need it in electronic form. If I had a paper book, I would have to somehow convert it to electronic form. Otherwise, incremental reading wouldn't make much sense. I begin with just ordinary copy and paste. Then I convert the text to plain text just to use my default formatting in the browser and, and simplify processing of the text. Generally, I like plain text. Then I add references for that all splintered pieces of information in the future have their context available just in case you encounter a piece without a context. Then I will add a picture just for a mnemonic to make learning more pleasurable. Here is my book. I can just begin reading. Summerhill is the most unusual school in the world. Here is a place where children are not compelled to go to class. They can stay away from lessons for years if they want to. Yet, strangely enough, the boys and girls in school learn. In fact, being deprived of lessons turn out to be a severe punishment. I also like that piece. And all text, I'll mark it as done. Let's keep rolling. Summerhill has been run by A.S. Neal for almost 40 years. This is the world's greatest experiment in bestowing unstinted love and approval on children, where one courageous man, backed by a courageous parent, has had fortitude to actually apply without reservation the principles of freedom and non-repression. I'll keep reading in this way. To have a good intro, I'll be focusing on those pieces pretty well. Yeah, so we know more or less what a book is about. You have a bit of data for references. I have already created references. With a foreword from Eric Fromm. That's a famous personality. Dedicated to Harold Hart. I will skip on that. I hope you will get a much credit or blame for this book, as I will. You have acted not as a publisher, but as a believer to what Summerhill has done and is doing. Your patience has amazed me. Now we go to the table of contents. So we won't need that. We just want to have a general understanding, more or less, what's, what's the book about. A foreword from Erich from. I'll use alt backslash to get rid of the initial text. So I could keep reading from that point. During the 18th century, the ideas of freedom, democracy, and self-determination were proclaimed by progressive thinkers, blah, blah, blah. Results of this new method were disappointing. To be sure, I don't miss the rest. I perhaps will set up independent references for urge from, so that I confuse it with the rest. Oh boy, no, I'm a little bit confused. Hand to glad in the sky, I'll go on with the word of intrusion. Yeah, sometimes times you get in trouble. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll just extract the part and worry about this later. You have some as called the basic human 
mystic values. He is a critic of the present society, reading this book flip, felt greatly stimulated. I might indicate two of my main reservations. I feel that Neil somewhat underestimates the importance, pleasure, authenticity of an intellectual in favor of an artistic and emotional grasp of the world. Men of great courage are clear to the reader that the experiment about which this book report is necessarily one which can be repeated many times. It's the new society. I believe Neil's work is a seed which will germinate in time. His ideas will become generally recognized in a new society in which man himself and his unfolding are the supreme aim of all social effort. Your children are not your children. Oh, I see the book begins somewhere in here. So that way I will extract every from forward. Ah, that's some kind of motto by Khalil Gibran, I don't know who it is. A word of introduction. Now we use alt backslash. In psychology, no one knows very much. The inner force of human life are still largely hidden from us. Since Freud genius made it a life for a genius. Ah, yeah, remember this was 1960. The fascination with Freud was still in there. Since I left education and took up child psychology, I have had all sorts of children to deal with. Incendiaries, thieves, liars, bedwetters, bad-tempered children. Years of intensive work in child training has convinced me that I know comparatively little of the forces that motivate life. I'm convinced, however, that parents who have had to deal with only their own children know much less than I do. Yeah, that's understandable. He, he ran a school. It's because I believe it's a difficult child. It's always made a difficult wrong treatment. What's the problem with psychology? A difficult child is the child who is happy. He is at war with himself and in consequence at war with the world. And that's good. The difficult adult is in the same boat. No happy man ever disturbed a meeting or breached a war or lynched a negro. No happy woman ever nagged her husband or her children. No happy man ever committed the murder or theft. No happy employer ever threatened his employees. All crimes, all hatred, all wars can be reduced to unhappiness. Yeah. Yeah. A word of introduction. Words of wisdom. The chapter one. Summer Hill School. Alt and backslash. And then I'll do the following trick. I won't read the whole book for one hour. Just to spur some of your time. I'll just tell you how it goes. I'm reading the beginning. I get the general idea of what's happening. Skip a little bit. Skip a little bit. Skip a bit more. Go further. And when I think I extract a sensible chunk of information, I stop. For example, here, I look at some hill. I pressed Shift-Alt-H, into a horizontal line. And this line will demarcate a piece of text that will be extracted as a separate piece of information for the future. And I'll keep doing that with the rest of the book. Each time I find a sensible and well encapsulated piece of text, I'll extract it separately. The more important the text, the smaller the pieces. But in one hour, I would, I would aim at ending the entire book. So this will work like that. How does self-hate manifest itself? I arrived at the end of the book. I have general understanding what the book is about. So I can now split the book. I press Control Enter for the commander. Split. Enter. Enter. Control Shift Enter for done. And the book has been read roughly 30, 40 minutes. So here's my book. 237 fragments. Some of them are longer. Some of them are shorter. Some of them have already been done, so they can be deleted. 
the formatting is messed up a little bit. I don't think converting to plain text can help here. And things are important. I can correct them manually. I don't know big deal. So this formatting looks better when I switch to full screen again. The first tool I would like to show is search. Someone asked me if summer here was a democratic school. And I wasn't sure if anybody ever used the term democratic school at that time. So I thought maybe I'll search the book for the word democracy. Because there is a word democratic, I'll just search for demo, 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 demo. Democra. Super memory searches the whole collection, so that's what, a bit of time. And I have six occurrences. I can use Control Shift L to review them all. A forward from Eric Crumb. Actually, democracy is mentioned in the first line. During the 18th century, the ideas of freedom, democracy, and self-determination were proclaimed by progressive thinkers. And by the first half of the 1900s, these ideas came to fruition in the field of education. Yeah, that's very general. Summerhill is a self-governing school, democratic in form. Everything connected with the social or group life, including punishment of social offenses, is settled by the vote on Saturday night general school meeting. I can extract that. Each member of the teaching staff and each sailor, regardless of the age, has one vote. One may smile and say, but your vote says move out, isn't it? The sequence is worth recording. Once I spoke strongly about breaking the bedtime rules. Summerhill self-government has no bureaucracy. There is a different chairman at each meeting, appointed by the first chairman. Blah, blah, blah. And I can use horizontal line for splits or just use standard selections and extract pieces for further work. After a longer while, you can use a funny tool which helps you understand how deep you want to process in the book. You can sort the text by their size and see what are the biggest neglected chunks of text you have missed. So for that, I use sort by text size. And this is the biggest piece, unfree child. I can use Control shift k to have a quick peek. That piece is 18 kilobytes. That's roughly 4% of the book if I'm not mistaken. And we can process it, read it. Intellectual John's career was normal. Oh, it's a longer story. Oh, it's very hard to split in this case. Mary, Mary. Complete the portrait of John out to give you a short sketch of the life of his sister Mary. All right, and he can put a horizontal line and split the part for future reading. Mary's grandmother, two were not supposed to have any sex until the right man came along. Well, I think more or less what it might be private parts, like the medical profession. Phoning dogs walk their tails in the tip of. Berlin, the great trainer Hitler whistled his commands, yeah. The fight is an unequal one. For haters, control education will in the law, the armies and vile prisons. And again, I can split that part. And at that point, I already have two, six, four elements. Some of them are deleted. I feel I understand this book much, much better. And it just took me one hour. There is still one crazy tool. Say you have nothing to do and you think Summer Hill is a great book to read. But I'm not sure which parts are done well, which are neglected. You may have some fun. Just randomize the browser and go from the top. You never know where you land. The percentage of crime stories on the railway bookstall is high. When a boy of 16 shoots a policeman, a million of two readers do not see that he is living out the kind of fantasy they read about and enjoy. The thriller, the notes, or an ability to play, to fantasy, to create. Fundamentally, it touches a repressed hate and desire to injure and kill. Wow, that's an interesting story in, the, in our interpretation. I'm not sure I would agree. 
I need to think about this a little bit more. And so on. As you can see, I just hit a very funny piece, which I don't necessarily agree with. So that's educational, isn't it? Yeah, and that's fun. So on a lazy Sunday, when you have nothing to read, you could just read some of you at random. And it's always fun. It's easier to focus on a small piece of text and just analyze and get a better insight into the book and to the author. So yeah, if you want to keep reading the book without disrupting your learning procedure, you can create a subset and intersperse that subset with your regular learning. So I'll do the following. I'll take the book, randomize the subset, use subset, save as, summer hill. Bark. To protest against something in a friendly way. Say, so these are my outstanding repetitions. So now I will intersperse my subset. Subset. Intersperse subset. I'll choose some hill. I'll say every fifth element. And now I have my summer hill interspersed. Now I can do learn. Protest. To protest against something in a friendly The last about to say the triangle is a base. Base. The morning of the renal tubes from the urine. Hmm. Flocculate. Cast. Casts. 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 A modern guitar like ten string instrument played with piano type and technique. Oh, I forgot that. Chapman stick. Chapman stick, yeah. Chapman stick. Chapman stick. Special is handled by best man available. Aircraft tail turret. Well manned. Best man. Best, best manned. Best man. And I have my first piece of summer here. Sports and games. In most schools, sports are compulsory, even though watching a match is compulsory. In Summer Hill, games are like lessons, optional. I would guess so. Wamba was in school for 10 years and didn't play a game, and he was never asked to play a game. But most of the children love games. Yeah, Summer Hill, our chief games are hockey and the tennis in the summer. Swimming is popular. We have no artificial gymnastics, nor do you think it's necessary. And the case were opinionated. The kids should assassinate. The younger children have a paddling pool, sand pit, see so. Yeah, nice philosophy. So let's summarize. No miracles. 400 pages with incremental reading, but I have good idea what's in the book. And I love the book. You don't need to agree with everything. But this one is pretty inspirational. I copied and pasted it to Super Memo, converted to plain text, added some reference, and in the picture I started learning. Reading and splitting the, the book into pieces is very difficult. I don't want to bore you with reading. This needs to happen in your head. And you can't do that efficiently when you're reading, focusing on what you are supposed to say, where to put the markers. This needs to be organic and natural. So th this really goes much better when you have a little bit of experience and you don't need to do a recording at the same time. And then you can use tools like search and review, you can sort your, your book and review, you can randomize your review, you can interspace it with your outstanding repetitions of other subjects, or you can intersperse it with other subjects at your will. So you can do Summerhill and mathematics in equal portions, any portion you choose, any ratio you choose.